The gentleman from the 46th District, Representative Frocht. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I rise in strong support of the bill, and I want to thank and commend my good friend and seatmate from the 46th District for her leadership on this. Mr. Speaker, may I have permission to read from the summary uh, of the bill? Yes, please continue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The summary of the substitute bill states that the $30 surcharge for local homeless housing and assistance increases to $40 from August 1, uh, 2011 through uh, June 30th of 2015. And then after that point, the surcharge ratchets down over time. So we're talking about a $10 surcharge to support homeless programs. Mr. Speaker, I would submit uh, respectfully that uh, nothing in this surcharge is going to deter or prevent someone from purchasing a home. This is not going to uh, uh, inhibit anyone's ability to, to purchase a home. I'd like to relay a short story from uh, a meeting I had just about a week and a half ago in my district uh, where I visited the Sandpoint housing uh, development that our speaker has been very instrumental in uh, creating over the years, which, homes, which houses uh, uh, women and families in transition. And I heard the story, and this uh, housing development is actually right, right in my own neighborhood, just up in the hill. So it's an interesting situation. We have people who are, need a lot of help who are just across the road, and then we have people who are doing quite well up in the hills just across the way. And what I, what I heard was a very disturbing story of a young woman who um, had, because of the downturn and because of her situation, her TANF benefits were being cut. She had three children. And I asked her, I said, what, are, what is going to be your means of support to pay your rent? She said, I sold my car to pay my rent that I'm, that's due under this program, which is reduced, for a year. She has no child care, and she has three children in school age. Now, I think we should all be very concerned about what's going to happen to that person when this year that she spent is up. And I was describing for her how she might go to a food bank and how she could uh, go and uh, take a bus up to the part of town where we have food banks in the north end of Seattle. It was a pretty, uh, pretty depressing discussion. And I think the thing that, the reason that we should support this bill is because this is the kind of program that will, in the long run, help put a roof over the head of these types of families that, that, that need some help. Nothing is going to be stabilized in the lives of these families until they have a roof over their head. We cannot have kids, uh, young children out on the street and families uh, like this woman, and I don't know her, the whole situation, how she got into this situation, but as a society, we can't have these people uh, on the street. We have to provide a way to do it, and we have to provide the funding for it. This is an entirely reasonable fee. It's a good thing. It's the right thing to do, and I think we should strongly support it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.